Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Ask Rebecca Radio Show. As always, thank you for joining me. I hope everyone had a great week. Um, we're already in March, so welcome to March 1st. Uh, so before I get into this week's predictions, I'll give you a brief overview of the energies of uh, March. So March is going to be a high energy month. And uh, I feel like some of you are probably already experiencing that. I'm already feeling it. Like I'm feeling a little anxious and a little like I could run really, really fast, really, really far, even though I know I probably wouldn't. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so there is this like heightened energy and there definitely feels like um, there's more forward emotion for everyone. So you could experience this month, um, you could experience some impatience, uh, excitement, anxiety, um, inspiration, and I feel like there'll still be some internal focusing on emotional stuff too. So lots of purging still happening and you know the energy will be excessive, so make sure that you put it to good use by focusing on past projects that need completing and be productive versus scattered in all areas of your life. So put your energy and productivity into the things that seem to flow easily and try not to force or push things that aren't flowing. You know, just kind of focus on the things that are, are moving forward because when you push, it has the opposite effect. And again, it's, you know, it, there's high energy. So you're really going to be feeling motivated. You're really going to be feeling like you want to get things accomplished. Um, that stagnant energy is lifted. And uh, again, it's just future momentum, forward thinking. Um, I do believe as well that we're still dealing with um, eclipse challenges and energies from January and February. And then this month also has two full moons, which means the beginning and the end of the month, you could bring up more emotional stuff. Um, and there's also a strong possibility things will be coming to fruition from seeds that you planted in the past. So a lot of you, I feel like will be seeing some stuff happening already this week and definitely by the end of the month. Uh, in between, it could be some highs, some lows, some in between, maybe a little bit of emotional stuff, a little bit of getting things accomplished, um, but overall, it feels pretty good. Now, this month, Mercury also goes retrograde, and when that happens, you know, things kind of um, are bringing our intent, our attention, uh, looking backwards almost, or like reevaluating things and looking at things. Um, so the shadow period begins on March 9th and the actual retrograde starts March 22nd and runs through to April 15th. But then the retrograde shadow period, um, runs through to May 3rd. So if there's anything new that you're trying to launch within your own business or at work or, you know, basically anything new that you're trying to launch or anything new that you're trying to begin, I would recommend that you do it between now and March 8th. And if you can't get that done between now and March 8th, then obviously it's not meant to happen right now. And don't beat yourself up about it and don't push it or force it. You can wait until the, you know, to launch your, your new endeavor. Um, I would say I would personally wait until May 3rd. Um, but, you know, you can start having some forward thinking stuff happening um, through the shadow post retrograde area, which would begin April 16th. Um, it's going to be a busy action oriented month, even with the Mercury retrograde. So good luck with accomplishing all of your endeavors. I have no doubt that you will be successful. Um, let's get into tonight's predictions, which run through to next Thursday, March 8th. These are general predictions for everyone in areas of work, love, finances, health, and spirituality. So the general themes this week, I feel like, um, you're already going to be uh, experiencing the higher upbeat energy. I do feel like several of you have been feeling fatigued and heavier. Um, so maybe you're exhausted. It just feels like some fatigue, but I do feel like the energy is lifting and you'll definitely feel it this week and you'll begin to have um, higher energy levels. And again, feeling more motivated than maybe you have over the last couple of weeks. There's a creative surge that's also going to be sparked within most of you, and it's going to spark you into action. 
And again, you're going to see that all happening this week. For some of you, this energy will have you feeling like you want to escape and run away from your current challenges. Um, you know, should you go or should you stay? Only you can decide that. I do feel like some of you need to focus on forgiveness before deciding anything. Um, find some wholeness, some peace before you make a decision, especially in an emotional state. Uh, I do feel like um, some of you, like I said, focus on forgiveness, forgive yourself and others. And for others, this energy will have you making changes to your current situations and you'll go do something totally new. So you're not really dealing with any residual emotional stuff per se, or dealing with any real challenges. I feel like you've overcome them, but you're you're more focused on like, okay, I'm ready to make a change and I'm ready to change the situation and work towards the outcome that I want. And I feel like you're just gonna be open to trying new things and, and you'll, you'll be successful. Uh, and because of this heightened energy, I feel like many of you will be in an accelerated phase of learning. Um, everything from an education. So some of you might decide to go back to school or you're studying really hard or, you know, you're embarking on learning something else or you're deciding maybe you're going to educate yourself about something. Um, I also feel like, you know, some of you that learning will entail you dissolving illusions and, and gaining new knowledge as to how to approach old situations and come to a final resolution. And I just feel like be open to the many lessons that are all around you, you know, learn from your environment. Everything in your life is trying to show you what is happening with you on the inside. Uh, the universe is a pretty amazing place. And if you pay attention, it will tell you exactly what you've got going on internally, exactly what you need to address and exactly what direction you should be focusing your attention. Now, I also feel like um, the education system itself is going to be in the news more this week. It already has been for the last several weeks. Um, and I just feel like all sorts of different issues within the structured educational system is going to be coming to light. Um, some may be collapsing and others will come up with new ways of um, uh, dealing with the education system and making changes. Uh, this week, you could find yourself working out some more emotional res residue. Um, again, for some of you, it's going to be really intense because you haven't dealt with emotional stuff. You've been repressing it. You've been avoiding it. Um, and then for others, it's going to be just like some minor emotional stuff that comes up. You might feel sad. You might feel angry. You might feel annoyed. You know, whatever it is, just know your hearts are healing and your heart chakras are opening more. So you could experience heart palpitations, anxiousness, and heartburn in the process. Um, this doesn't mean not to go to the doctor if something serious is going on with your chest. So I don't want you to be like, oh, Rebecca said have palpitations, so I'm fine. And you know, if something is going on, it may be a health-related issue versus just your chakra opening. So don't be afraid to openly express the love that you are and the love that you feel in order to become whole within you. You have to work through all your past emotional stuff. Nobody is immune to it. We all go through it. Everybody, every single person on this planet, all of us. So just try not to resist. It's not always fun, but it's a lot easier if you just allow the process and, and practice letting go of the past, practice forgiveness, practice compassion, and practice gratitude. It will make the process easier. That there's something to be said for acceptance and allowance. It, it just, you know, it, it will resolve itself much, much quicker versus you resisting and trying not to feel. And, you know, the message that I just kept getting is all is well, even if it doesn't seem like it in the moment. Um, everything passes and, you know, Everybody has to go through some things and you will get through it. You know, this too shall pass and just accept what's coming up within you. Strength um, is another energy that I'm feeling for this week. And I kind of feel like everybody's going to be tapping into their strength this week. Um, you know, you'll be feeling stronger. You'll feel like you can tackle anything that comes your way. 
And I feel like many of you have um, just been coming through a really difficult time. You'll see a noticeable change this week. Um, I feel like you'll have reached a clear and balanced perspective on things. You've come up with solutions and plans to improve your situation. Um, and this theme continues this week. So uh, I feel like those of you that have been proactive and, and really just working on yourselves and tackling things in your life and making those changes, I feel like it's going to be pretty seamless and a status quo. Um, I would say uh, there's a bit of a caution so that you don't fall into old habits or mistakes while going through any emotional stuff this week, right? You don't want to repeat the past, you want to handle it in a new and uh, a new way from where you've grown. Now, those of you who have been struggling to find solutions to improve your situation, this week you will uh, because you'll finally be focused on the solution instead of the problem. I've said that a million times and I'll say it a million more because it's the truth. Focus on what you want for your solutions. Excuse me, focus on what you want so the solutions can follow. Don't focus on what you don't want because then you'll get more of the same and you won't get any resolution or solutions. So, you know, proactively practice that this week. Get into the habit of that. Work for those of you employed. Some of you are uh, relying on people at work to tell you what your skills and talents are. Like, I, I just feel like there's some of you that are really, really seeking validation outside of yourself at work and like, feeling like somebody there is gonna validate you or push you forward or give you insight into yourself. Um, I feel like that won't happen because you don't know um, what your talents and what your skills are and you're not validating yourself, so no one else will. And I feel like if you can just ask yourself some questions like, what am I good at? What motivates me? What am I passionate about? And once you figure out those things, I feel like, you know, you'll figure out where you shine. And when you do, ask for a raise or a promotion. And I feel like you'll be successful with that. Most of you are doing great. You're just pushing and forcing things, um, which is resistance. So try to not push and force. It has the opposite effect. Sometimes you just gotta be patient and go with the flow. And some of you have been ignoring some serious workplace issues. This week they come up and you can't, you can't um, ignore it anymore because um, I just feel like some of you have been turning a blind eye to certain things. And this week it could directly affect you. So I feel like you'll finally see what's best for you and maybe even consider um, looking for a new work environment or being proactively involved in coming up with some creative solutions and positive policy changes that you could make. Um, work for those of you looking for a job. I feel like your energy scattered this week and I feel like you may have some difficulties focusing on looking for a job. I'm not feeling like those of you looking will find anything this week. Um, so to me, it may be worth it to take a little time out a couple of days during this week just to gain some clarity of what type of job you're looking for and what you really want. Love, um, those of you in committed relationships, I do feel like um, love should be going well for those of you who have, um, excuse me, for those of you who are in love with each other and have a strong relationship that's mutually supportive and beneficial, I feel like you guys are going to have a great week. Um, those of you who have had issues, I feel like you've been working on those issues, which is fantastic, but I do feel like there's more work to do and I feel it's necessary for your relationship. Um, otherwise, it may um, fall apart. You, you may end up breaking up. And I would just like to add a reminder that it takes two, right? It takes two people in a relationship. Problems are almost never entirely just one partner's fault. So take responsibility for your role. And, you know, again, when you're communicating with each other, let's not do the blame, blame, blame game. Let's focus on what you're feeling. I feel this, you know, use your I statements. Looking for love, those of you that are single, um, I feel like this is a better than average time to get out and about and meet someone. Most of you are feeling pretty confident. I feel like self-esteem is high this week. So get out and mingle. And also because the energy is intense, 
try not to be forceful with your love. Um, and I know that sounds kind of silly, but sometimes we can be forceful with like, you know, being overly um, lovey or, you know, mushy and stuff. So just kind of keep that in perspective and balance. Um, then there are my singles who I love dearly. You know who you are that still are getting used to the idea of embarking on the journey of dating and working towards a long-term committed relationship. I feel like you're doing the usual this week, working on you and building up your confidence and confronting any blocks. You're basically, basically um, in some more preparation mode, but every day with prep, you're just one step closer. So I feel like you're opening up, but not fully stepping out yet. Take your time. It'll happen when it's supposed to. Finances, for many, it's a great week. Uh, financially, I feel. In general, money is flowing well. I, I don't feel like, I don't feel like things will be too crazy, but I would caution for some of you not to overspend um, and don't assume the money will last forever, right? So things may be flowing pretty nicely this week and you're feeling pumped. You're like, yeah, mama needs a new pair of shoes. Go get the new shoes. But again, just be careful where you're not like blowing all your cash. Um, it's not a good week for gambling or borrowing or financing anything other than necessities. So I would caution anyone that's looking to go out and get a loan for, you know, something frivolous. I mean, like, you know, if you need a car because you don't have a car, well then obviously get a car. But if you're getting a car and you already have three other cars, then you don't really need a car and you shouldn't get another loan for a car. You see where I'm going with that? Um, so just kind of, again, keep your priorities focused on the necessities. Those of you who have worked hard at getting your finances under control, you're seeing the results, right? I, I feel like you've been struggling for a long time. You've made some choices and decisions that are helping you get out of whatever financial debt or you're finally working again and you're generating an income. So I just feel like you're going to see the results of you know, having gone through that difficult period and, and staying positive and proactive. And I feel like with that as well, there is a caution with this energy to be careful not to fall into old spending habits. Um, I feel like those of you still struggling shift your thought from, I don't have, you know, excuse me. I'm distracted. I'm trying to multitask. Okay. So those of you that are still struggling financially, I feel like it's important to shift your thought from, I don't have any money to, I want more money, right? So again, focus on what you want instead of what you don't have or don't want. Okay. Again, it's very important for you to focus on that. So just go to bed all day long. You know, when you go to sleep, Say, I want more money. When you wake up, I want more money. Just be in that energy. Health, I do feel like um, um, many are feeling healthy and vibrant with this energy. A few will experience anxiousness. Others will start new healthy habits and, and let go of some bad ones. Then there's those of you who are just thinking about making healthier lifestyle choices. Well, maybe this week you should take one action step towards what you've been thinking about for years now, okay? Some of you, you know it's been years. Spirituality, this week the focus is on strength. You're strong. If you're not feeling like you are, get out in nature. Go do something that helps empower you to feel stronger. Um, you're stronger than you think. You've been surviving and managing, some of you, for decades. Believe in yourself, you know? Some of you have finally gotten past some painful life experiences. It's time to put your attention to the future and forget the past. Stop recreating the past over and over again based on your re residual emotional stuff. Focus on the future. Ask yourself what your life will look like a year from now. If you come up with, I don't know, or probably the same, then you have more work to do. Just figure it out, you know, figure out what you want for yourself and then go for it. That covers this week's predictions. Overall, I feel it will be a productive and enjoyable week with some emotional challenges coming to the surface for some in varying degrees of intensity. 
Um, all right, let me get to tonight's caller. I only have eight minutes left because I rambled. Um, hi, Shirley in Hampshire, England. How are you? Yeah, hi. I'm fine, thank you. Thank you for the reading. Oh, thank you for the love. So, how can I help you this evening? I feel like you've got some... You've got some... I, I just feel like there's um, some sorrow and pain. Yeah, I'm in a lot of pain at the moment, actually. I do suffer with a lot of pain. Um, there, I'm sorry, got, there's what? Um, um, I do suffer with a lot of pain, and I also um, had emotional pain, lost a family member two years ago, my dad. Okay, yeah, that's kind of what I felt. Like, I felt like you've got sorrow, some deep emotional issues that you really need to address. Um, right. I feel like you, you know, you, you need to allow yourself to grieve, but you have a tendency maybe to sometimes dwell in your pain. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, and I feel like there's a part of you that might be dwelling a little bit right now. And obviously, no one can tell you how long you should um, be in whatever emotions that you're you are in. But I just feel like you know the message that I'm getting for you is that you really, really need to address what is. Um, what is hurting you, right? What what that emotion is connected to? I know you said it's connected to someone that passed away two years ago. Um, uh, do you have something going on in a relationship as well? No, I'm falling in a relationship. Was the person that you lost a relationship, or was it a family oh, member? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, my, yeah, we did have a little fallout before my dad passed, but we did make up before he actually passed over. So that was a relief because things got put behind us all. Um, but I, I feel like he's been around anyway, and my sister's been getting a lot of activity as well. And I do a lot of filming, which I get a lot of orbs. A, a lot of what? I get, like, um, when I'm filming, I get, like, loads of orbs that appear in my camera. Oh, orbs. Got ya. Orbs. Yeah. Sorry, I'm having you. <laughs> Our connection is a little, you sound a little further away, but I guess you're in England, so you are. Um, okay, yeah. I mean, I definitely feel, you know, the message that I was getting about you dealing with your pain, I felt is coming from this person that crossed over. And um, I do feel like they're around you and i feel like yes there's orbs but i also feel like there's other things in the house or um i feel like there's even something more noticeable that maybe you haven't quite noticed but maybe like it almost feels like it could be like an indention in in um a blanket or something where someone was sitting or um, maybe even the feeling of like you're being touched. Have you experienced that at all? Yeah, I had. I actually had that the other night, a couple of nights ago. Yeah, because um, I feel like okay. I feel like it, it's a man, right? A, who, who, what's his name? Yeah, my dad. It was my dad, Keith. Keith. Okay. Yeah, I. <laughs> I feel like he sits on your bed and I, and you said you have a sister. So I feel like he goes there too. Um, and then there also feels like a, a brother. I don't know if it's like brother, bro, like blood brother, or if it's um, like um, by marriage or I, I just feel like there's a male energy that he goes to as well. Right. Yeah. That would be my brother. Okay. Yeah. So he like rotates between all of you and he, he has the same. So he's saying like, he has the same, um, behavior. Like he sits on the bed, he, he will try to touch you so that you can feel it. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, it, uh, ooh. I don't know if I could say this word, but he, He's making me feel like, you know, sometimes I can be like a, um, uh, uh, like a, like a prick or something where he's like messing with you, but not to, 
you know, in fun to try to like get you to wake up. Yeah, I do. I get a lot of knocks on my table at night. Um, <laughs> I also I've seen his face. Yeah. And I have felt somebody touch me on a few occasions, and I've also seen shadows. Yeah, it's 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 all him, and he does it to all of you. Um. Right. That's funny listen. because my sister had her bedroom door fly open and shut on its own. She what? My sister, who lives up in London, um, she just experienced her bedroom door flew open and it shut on its own again, but it's very hard to open. Ah, yeah. He's pretty powerful in being able to um, connect with you guys. Like, he definitely moves things and touches things, and he gets a lot of pleasure out of it. Like, he's laughing and... Uh, um, He's kind of making a joke, saying, like, it's his turn to torture you guys. Um, but it's funny. It's funny you say that, because you did say that before you passed. I will come back and I'll haunt you all. And I asked yes. him to come and see me, so he is. Yes, that's exactly what he's doing. He's haunting you. Uh, <laughs> he's, he's getting pleasure and joy out of it, but it is coming all from... Um, a place of love, you know, he, it, it genuinely is, um, because he loves and cares about you guys. Um, now he's saying, you know, sometimes he was definitely difficult to deal with. Um, he's making me feel like there were issues with your mom. Yeah, they did. They had a set up ages ago and yeah, he, did, he was difficult to deal with, but I mean, we dealt with it. Yeah, and, and um, he's making me feel like, I only have 60 seconds, but he's making me feel like, you know, the things that, he's taking a lot of responsibility for things that happened throughout your childhood and the That's relationship. Right. Yeah, he's taking a lot of responsibility. Like, he's owning up to the fact that he was pretty, pretty hard, pretty... Um, <laughs> But he's spot on, and he did apologize for all the things that he's done in his past. He, he apologized before he passed? Yeah, he did for all the things that he's done that he, he feels <clears throat> he didn't do right when he, we were growing up. Yes, yes. I mean, that's he's basically talking about that again and, and just saying, like, he really wants you all to know that, you know, he made mistakes and he made choices that affected everybody. Um, and that he was difficult to deal with. But bottom line is he loved you all. He's not going anywhere. He says he's gonna be around to harass you until the day you die.